What does market watcher David Barnson think about all of this? Go ahead. Oh, I mean, as far as them running the ad, at the end of the day, look, the coverage on most of the business networks has been pretty anti-Warren. They've had a lot more guests come on to bash Warren. And obviously, what we're what, the type of conversation you and I would have is more ideological, what she represents to the American dream. And I think that what the ad does is continue to add to this class warfare message. Yep. And it's dishonest because it uses the word billionaire. Her wealth tax starts at $50 million. Okay, that's just 950 million away from a billion. Bernie Sanders' wealth tax starts at 32 million. By the way, when's the last time they actually stopped there? If she says 50, it means it's going to be 20. So my point being that if they're willing to lie by 95 percent, they intend to tax all prosperity. It's a bad message for the economy. Nonetheless, I believe Elizabeth Warren, Senator Warren, is ahead in some polls. And the, uh, uh, what, what do you think her chances are of oh. getting the nomination? Oh, I think it's very good. And, and I think that she has a very good chance of winning the nomination. Uh, listen, she is in the lead in Iowa or thereabouts, but the lead has come down a bit. She's still holding a lead in New Hampshire. It's tight. But the betting odds have her up by 10 percent over Biden. It's about a 33 percent chance for Senator Warren, 23 for, for Biden. At the end of the day, she has a path there. Now, Bernie kind of resurging a bit after his health issue. And I don't think he's going anywhere. He's plenty well capitalized. That hurts her because if he got out of the race, there would be no stopping her. I I have no comment on her general election prospects because I think all of us have learned who knows what can happen. But I think that she has a good chance of winning the nomination and it frightens me. It's what they say. People say to me, people, you can afford it. What, 2% over $50 million? You can afford it. Yeah. Well, going to, you're not, this is not going to trouble you or the economy. You can afford there it. There are so but many problems with the wealth tax itself. I wrote a whole chapter in a book I have coming out about Elizabeth Warren. that uh, You get to the liquidity issue. You get to family-owned businesses, real estate. By the way, it distorts families. You get a $100 million family, all of a sudden, there's a lot of incentive to make it two fifty million dollars million families. You know, France saw a huge run-up in divorce when they went through this. But France got rid of it. Socialist countries in Europe got rid of it because it doesn't collect the revenue and it doesn't work. Apparently, Elizabeth Warren hasn't learned. Uh, David, would you just stay there for one second? I'm going to refer to something else that's going on on Capitol Hill today. Specifically, the big tech companies are going to be grilled about their impact on small business. Hillary Vaughan is there for us. What are we going to see, Hillary? Stuart, representatives from Google and Amazon will be showing up today. Apple and Facebook were both invited, but they will not be at this hearing that's looking at how the rise in online retail and digital platforms have changed the game for small businesses. There will also be small businesses at this hearing. In the hot seat will be Amazon, who has continued to face lawmaker questions about how they use access to their data to beat their competitors on their same platform. Expect a lot of questions about that, but this also is happening two months after a different committee surveyed 80 small businesses asking for them to dig up details on how big tech firms have harmed their business. Stuart? Got it. Hillary, thank you very much indeed. I'm going to turn back to David Barnson because I see all these probes of big Mm -hmm. tech, whether it's antitrust or effect on small business or privacy or this, that and the other, never affects the stock price. They're Teflon. Yeah, but I hate disagreeing with you because it's your show, but I really disagree. Really? Facebook and Amazon are lower right now than they were in the middle of 2018. The market's made 30 new highs. I think that the FANG names were at such a high multiple, high valuation, that the probes, the antitrust, some of the stuff may be legitimate, some may not. A lot of this is bipartisan. But I think what it does is it kind of reiterates the theme that big tech is just sort of under assault, and therefore it's hard to command the same multiple. Now, they're still making tons of money. Yep. And, and you have to look at each one of those names differently, but, but, but they're lower than their highs from well over a year ago. They're getting bigger and bigger and more and more powerful. They're getting into the healthcare field. They might even get into the banking field. I mean, they've got tentacles all well, you over. You sound like Elizabeth Warren here right now. I mean, well, um, I no. worry about Big Brother. No, that's and I right. wonder, should such extraordinary capital and power be yeah. vested in four or five companies? I think you would agree with this, Stuart. I, I believe that ultimately the solution to big tech becoming new power powerful is the market, that there will be new technologies, new solutions, new companies. Those who were once on top and seemed like they were indomitable, they Mm -hmm. tend to fall off. That's the beauty of free enterprise. These companies have to go out and compete. There's new technologies. It's best. I don't want Elizabeth Warren running big tech any more than I want Mark Zuckerberg running the world, you know, that having that centralized power.
for. <laughs> so at the end of the day, I'm, I want an open market system to deal with this. But the, the stock market is kind of saying those multiples were too high. Oh. And these, uh, I think these investigations and, and probes take their toll. Fair point, David Barnson. You're right. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm afraid to ever push back. <laughs> no, 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 no. Push back all you like. So, David, thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Appreciate sir. it.